Uh, president Trump's re-election campaign says that it's going to be barring Bloomberg news journalists from attending the president's rallies and political events. It's a response to the news organization's decision to cease investigating Democratic candidates as owner Michael Bloomberg campaigns for the Democratic nomination. President Trump weighed in on Twitter, uh, on, Twitter on this and didn't mince any words. He wrote... Many Mike Bloomberg has instructed his third-rate news organization not to investigate him or any Democrat, but to go after President Trump only. The failing New York Times thinks that is okay because their hatred and bias is so great they can't even see straight. It's not okay. Uh, Sarah, what do you think? Well, this is a huge problem, one for Bloomberg News. I mean, we knew that Michael Bloomberg stepping into the race was going to conflate their editorial responsibility a little bit, call it into question. Now it's become a national spat with the president, and quite frankly, it's going to continue to carry on unless they can address this. One of the things you keep hearing is that there are other billionaires that have no problem with their newsrooms covering them, like Jeff Bezos and The Washington Post. And we're seeing now that this policy, a longstanding policy now adapted for the campaign, is going to really come back and hurt the newsroom unless it can continue to defend itself from these types of attacks. David, I, I, I have a lot of respect for uh, Michael Bloomberg, great mayor, perhaps even greater business person. I was on the other side of that Bloomberg uh, press apparatus. Every article that came out about ICE, a competitor to Bloomberg, seemed to have a negative slant, negative headline. Do you see anything inappropriate with the president drawing a line uh, with, with Bloomberg News here? Well, you know, I, I think more broadly it's really a part of a trend where the president and the administration uh, have been willing to, to push back on news organizations and push back, frankly, on channels of information uh, uh, and brand them as biased. Uh, we've seen this with the social media platforms as well. So I think the bigger picture here uh, uh, is less about one news organization than about uh, uh, how the president uh, and his administration, his campaign, uh, brand uh, either the world of media or, or the world of sort of channels. So you, you, can't, you can't even what? comment on, on this act. You're just back to just Trump hates all the You can't find it in yourself to say this might not be. Even Sarah had no problem. You can't I'm find open. it in yourself to say maybe this isn't such a great idea to not cover Bloomberg and Democrats, but to investigate Trump. You can't even bring yourself to say that because you're at the New York Times. Seriously. Well, you know, regardless of where I work, I think I think the bigger picture here is really interesting. Oh, bigger no, wait, picture. Wait, wait, wait. Back to the bigger picture. Okay, but, never mind. But yeah, I, the, I don't expect you to, but to say But how about anything. the one example where the news organization is actually named after his competitor? <laughs> well, Trump bashes the press a lot. Right, I think we are this out of time in the hour. David, wow. Sarah, thank you both for being here. All right, coming up, um, futures tumbling this morning after there's no problem with the mainstream media.